I'll see you later, babe. Say that again. What? What you just said. See you later, babe. <gasps> I'm somebody's babe. Right, yeah, well, I'll pay you anyway. Did you go Sarah, babe? Uh, no, I'm sorry, sorry, it's none of my business. Uh -huh. right, hey! Less of the smoochie. <laughs> yeah, I've just got to nip over to shop a minute, Bill. Two minutes. All right, mate. Hey, now. You'll be good today. <gasps> mm. Love ya. What? Nothing. I'll speak to you later. Nice to see the game plenty of nourishment. We need comfort food while we're down to an hospital. <laughs> Not what it is. Uh, I don't see you taking them to the bus stop and getting them off to school. Oh, how well, did we cope without you? Do you have to work then? We're off to hospital. Oh, well, give him a love. See so what we're going yourself then? Okay. I'm sure he'd like that. Yeah. Come on, kids. Sorry. Morning, Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Don't often see you in here, shall? No, I'm being a devil. Ah, well, in the right place. I can tell you everything you need to know about sin. 15p change. You're in a good mood. It's the love of a good man. See ya. See ya. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, morning, Eileen. Again. Morning. <laughs> she seems yes. happy in her work. Yes, she, she's a real asset at the moment. Yeah, uh, just a couple of rounds of toast, please, right? Yeah. Uh, as you know, uh, I did have the initial reservations about her and Jason hooking up. Is that correct usage? I've told you, she's tough as old boots. Yes, but th there is also the fact that he was still married. The world's moved on a bit since then, Roy. Yeah, for better or worse. But there is no doubt that he's bringing out the best in her. <laughs> she's dead nice when you get to know her. I was a bit worried at first, to be honest. I mean, jailbird going out with Jason. Yes, well, that is where the world could move on, in my opinion, if everyone like Becky was given a second yeah, chance. Yeah, all right, uh, Mr Smug, I'll just um, have the toast when it's ready. Yeah. Oh, Dan, your new friend's here. Oh, yeah? What do you want? Well, seeing how I'm on a roll from last night, I thought I might put, say, 20 quid on a winning horse. Be my guest. How are you feeling this morning? Oh, proper gutted. I mean, that twenties put a big hole in my finances, you know. But mind you, I think I'd feel a lot worse if I'd lost the bet because I couldn't do me job. That was a fluke. All right, girls, girls. Yeah, let's not get distracted. All the runners and riders over there, don't let me hold you up. Second thoughts, I think I might come back later. And there's me thinking that you'd just come in to gloat. When are you going to move your camps, by the way? What? Well, I asked you the other day not to park outside, but there you are again today. So? So move them, yeah? I'll make a note of it. <clears throat> You're looking a lot better. <sighs> it was rough yesterday. Be the anaesthetic. Remember when I had my tonsils out? It was a nightmare till it wore off. Are you comparing having your tonsils out to major heart surgery? Uh, minor heart surgery. That's right, rain on me parade. So how long till you back to normal? What, so you can go skiving off? Uh, we've been worried about you. <sighs> I know. You have to talk to the doctor. We'll rest up, all right? I will. So, how are the kids? Fine. Mum got them off to school this morning. Oh, she's not a complete waste of space, then. Hmm, so far. You know, it makes you think when something like this happens to you. You work like a dog all your life to build a nest egg to retire on. What's the point? It's gonna kill you. Well, you better start looking after yourself. Yeah, I'll have to lose some weight, that's for sure. Well, you can start with these. Because I know how much you love fruit. Think of all extra years you'll live. Yeah. Plenty of veg in your diet from now on. And exercise. And you're going to have to knock ale on the head. Steady on now. Any more shocks to the system, I'll have another heart attack. <laughs> mm. Now then, boys. <laughs> let's put you on for a few hours. Ooh, you're a treasure. <laughs> and Jason's my little treasure, ain't it? Ain't it? <laughs> Oi! Oi, what time's you call this? Oh, I, I, I do apologise, uh, uh, Roy. Only the paper boy failed to turn up yet again. 
and I would have brought them round earlier, but Rita's been out of the shop all morning. Folk have been asking after them, you know. I suppose uh, we could waive the delivery charge under the circumstances. Uh, it's much appreciated, Norris. Hey, hey. I'm loving the contraption, Norris. <laughs> I always thought you were off your trolley. <laughs> now, now I know it. <laughs> Woo. Come on now, love. We've got to feed you up, make you big and strong. Oh, Bill. Have you felt these muscles? Do you know they're like they're like cannonballs? <laughs> Do you want a little feel, Norris? Your wife knows about this extra marital liaison, I take it, Jason. What? I suppose she must do if you're flaunting it like this in public. Hey, leave it to me, Norris. I will put him on jankers this afternoon. Oh, that's right. Make light of it. Well, live and let live, I say. Too right. You would say that, wouldn't you? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. No, go on. Well, coming from a man who's got a wife on the continent and is living with somebody else. I think you'd better watch what you're saying. There's no wrong with what we're doing. That's what they said in Sodom and Gomorrah. We are in love. Tell him, Jason. <laughs> It's all right, doesn't it? What was that all about, then? Just had a go at me. She's right, Roy. He was bang out of order. Well, perhaps we can get back to normal, then. We are quite busy. Yep. Thanks for sticking up for me. What? When he had a go at me. There was no point saying anything when he's like that, eh? Only makes him worse. Look, you saw he went for me when I piped up, eh? Yeah, I suppose. The man is a menace. Why are people such liars? They troll round your house saying, oh, this kitchen's nice and we love the bathroom, so you think you've got a sale. Then the estate agent rings and says they hated it. Well, people are strange, aren't they? You can say that again. No, but they don't know what they want half the time, I reckon. It's only when they look round they realise. They're wasting my time, whatever they're doing. Well, lucky them for buying a house. How do you mean? Me and Michelle would kill to get a place of our own out the pub. Away from my mother and Vernon. Then by ours. What? Just round the corner. Couldn't be handy. How many bedrooms has it got? Three. Nice garden. Near the pub as well as streetcars. Opposite Ken and Deirdre for babysitting. Be perfect. How much are you asking? 123. Nah, we couldn't. Why not? Any word on Maria? Yeah! Had a postcard the other day. She didn't say much, though. You must miss her. Yeah, I do. Still, David will be back soon, won't he? Um, tomorrow. Oh, well, he'll take some of the strain off you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Although he didn't really do very much, to be honest. Oh, we always seem busy when I've been in here. No, no, I mean, what I mean is, it's the skilled workers you miss. You know, I mean, I know I've got this temp, Natasha, but it's not quite the same. But every little helps. I know he's been a monster, but I thought he was a good little worker in here. Well, girl's going to have her hands full, I know that. And Ted's back soon, I know. Oh, ready for another dose of life at number eight? <laughs> Must be. Well, that's all right, then. I still think she's investing too much in him. Hardly surprising. Oh, Rita. Look, he hasn't got a clue about the ups and downs of family life. I mean, why should he? Well, you can't hold that against him. <sighs> One sniff of a problem, he'll be off. I know he will. And then where will she be? You know, there's nothing you can do about this. you just got to leave them to it and hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. So, how much is young Finley going to cost you, then, if this goes on? No idea. Clothes, food, new pair of shoes every three months. Do you know how much new trainers cost these days? 
40 quid by any chance. You ought to make sure it's yours first before you start throwing good money after bad. No, I was thinking that. What happened when Alex and Ryan did that DNA test? Oh, it's dead easy. You just take a swab of saliva and then you find out within days. With any luck, you might be able to get out of it. Who says I want to get out of it? You do, don't you? I'm not sure. I'd have to make sure he's mine first, obviously, but... <laughs> you were dead. Hey, what's wrong with that? This is the best thing that ever happened to you. Yeah, but... Look, mate, I'm all alone in the world. I've got no-one to care for, and to be honest, I'm getting sick of it. Oh, flipping great! What? Look at it, goes all the way down the side. Well, who's done that? I know exactly who, and he's gonna pay, don't you worry. <laughs> you come to put that bet on, have you? No, I've come to ask you what the hell you think you're playing at. How do you mean? Don't give me that. That scratch on me cab. What scratch? Do you know what he's on about? I haven't a clue. Well, why don't you come outside and I'll jog your memory? You're telling me you didn't do that? Why would I do that? Oh, can't think. No, come on. Because you lost to me at darts and you want to get your own back. Oh, do me a favour. Because you asked me to move me cab, and I haven't. You really think I'd be that stupid, eh? If I was the obvious suspect. Give me credit. Well, who else did it? Well, I don't know, do I? Look, they're in the way, which is why I asked you to move them. Anybody could have done it. That is deliberate. And how do you know? Because it is. Look, if you'd moved your flaming cabs in the first place, yeah, none of this would have happened, would it? It's funny how the minute you get acted off with me, this happens. You're off your trolley, mate. I can't believe you'd be so petty. Oh, this is stupid. Yeah, well said, love. Yeah, well, she would say that, wouldn't she? What's going on? Well, he's accusing me of this, isn't he? So, you got proof? You don't have to be Lewis to work this one out. No proof? None whatsoever. You're going to pay to get this re -sprayed. Oh, yeah, in your dreams, mate. Then you are making a very big mistake. Any news of Gerard? Yes, he's recovering well. Oh, good. Anyone fancy a drink? Oh, not for me, love. I've got to get back to relieve Norris so that he can go and do his shift at Jerry's. Can you have a kebab habit? Uh, no idea. Because if you can, I'm getting one. <laughs> How about you, Mum? Yeah, go on then. What's she got there? Uh, just a bit of shopping. Feeding the 5,000 more like. Look at all them bags. Well, David's coming home tomorrow, so he'll need feeding up. And, uh, my dad's coming. Yeah, but it's not staying with you, is it? Well, where do you think he's staying? Well, at the flat upstairs is empty. I talked to him last night and he's more than happy at mine. Oh, Gail, come on, love. You don't want all that aggravation, especially not with David. What aggravation? Well, you'll be on top of each other. Ma'am, we've agreed. Look, tell you what, I'll ring him. And if he still insists on staying with you, fine. Audrey, this is not to do with me, but from what I hear, Gail's got this well and truly organised. Thank you, Rita. All right. I'll keep my news out. Good. If you don't pay up for this... How do you know it was him? Oh, not you and all. It was parked close to the wall. Some could have done it walking past. Bit of a coincidence, don't you think? The morning after he loses to me, it darts. Hang on. All right? Yeah, fine. Listen, I've been, I've been thinking about Finley. Look, if you want to regulate your responsibility... No! No, you got me wrong. I want to put things on a proper footing. On a what? Well, I'm quite happy to pay the maintenance, as long as I'm sure he's mine. Well, I've told you he can't be anyone else's. Yeah, but if you make sure, you know, have a, a DNA test or something, then make it all legal... DNA? Yeah, then I can sort out the, the right money and have regular contact with him. I think it's best we sort this out between ourselves. But then you know I was serious. So, you're saying you want to go to court? I don't know about court. Well, that's where we'll end up if we go down that road. I mean, fine, if you don't mind shelling out eight years back payments. What? Well, that's what a judge would make you pay, on top of what you do in future. Look, we don't have to take it that far. We'd have no choice. I mean, if that's what you want. Oh, no, no. You're probably right. We'll just keep it between ourselves. Yeah, I think that's best. Uh, what you gave me last night came in very handy, by the way. Oh, good, good. It's amazing how quickly you get through it, though. Thanks. Uh, 
Hiya. What have you been up to? Just done my fab break. Where are you taking this off? Far end of Albert Road. See the world in your job, don't you? Yeah, Phil's giving me a make. I best get moving. Mm. You'd be ready to get wasted tonight, then, if you've got yard at it. Uh, I don't think I'm up to it, if I'm honest. I'm knackered. Mm. And how about a soak in an hot bath, followed by a nice, long massage? I can do them, you know, someone showed me. Actually, Bex, uh, I just want to give it a miss tonight. Do you mind? You getting fed up for me? No, I just fancy nearly night, that's all. Well, I don't mind that. I mean, sleep. Mm. You wear me out, Becky. Then resist me. Oh, I can't, can I? Hey? All right, then. You have yourself a night off. Get your strength back up. I'll be ready and waiting tomorrow. All right. Mwah. Come on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> See you, lover. Guess he's got the last strawberry cream. Oh, I'll murder you, young lady. What's going on? How do you mean, what's going on? She's eating chocolates and I'm having a drink. Is that a crime? Where's Finlay? He's gone to flicks with some mates. I'm picking him up at seven. Mm, you're flashing the cash, aren't you? Is this what being a cop has done to you? I'm looking after my kids. Why don't you come and join us instead of giving me the third degree? Yeah, go on then. How's Dad? Yeah, how is he? Yeah, he's a lot better today. He sends his love. When's he coming out? Don't know, shouldn't be long now. So there's no complications, right? No, don't seem to be. Hmm. So, you'll be back here getting on my week before I know it then. Did you hand your sense of humour in when you took that uniform? Hey, Chess. Hold on, let me just get away from the ring, please. No, it was really cool. Don't you just date them ringtones they have? Where are you getting this money from? Oh, change the record, can't you? Well, my dad's not giving you that much. Not on top of your housekeeping. Have I cost you a penny since I got here? Not me personally. No. So stop going on about it. Has your better off said he might be buying our house? Uh, I never said that. No, but he mentioned it. So what do you think? Interesting idea. Handy for you both. Plenty of room. Well, we'll have to sit down and have a proper thing. Come and have a look if it helps. Yeah? Well, only don't leave it too long. There's a lot of interest. You never said that this morning. Things change very quickly in the property market. Well, it wouldn't do any harm to have a look, would it? Sometime tomorrow? I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, large whiskey and a pint of bitter, please, Michelle. Uh, do you want any pork scratchings with that? <laughs> You won't be laughing when you get the bill for my respray. Won't be doing anything, pal. It's got nothing to do with me. I can see where Steve's coming from, though. Well, we did clamp one of his cabs once, didn't we? So we do have fun. I'd quit while you were ahead, if I were you. I haven't even started, pal. Are you in or out tonight? In. No, not seeing Jason? We both need an early night. Oh, but uh, everything's uh, OK. Everything's brilliant. Ah, well, that's good then. Having a night off. Why? Well, I often think that, that couples, they rush into things too quickly. They fall madly in love, or I think they do. Can't bear to be parted. You know, a few weeks later, the whole thing collapses. Well, that, that's not going to happen to us. No, well, a little distance. It, it lets the roots grow deeper. You and Ailey will be rock solid then by the time she gets back. <laughs> yeah, but very good, yes. Right, well, that is me finished. Yeah. Eileen was saying uh, how pleased she is, how things are going with Jason. Really? Yeah, she, she's enjoying getting to know you. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Well, she's not one to mince her words if she, she doesn't like someone, so, uh, well, clearly it's a good thing all round. Well. I'm just happy to have a boat that's not a grade A pig. <laughs> Cheers. So, uh, did Becky fancy an evening off and all? Not sure. No, in other words. Not going off her, are you? Not going off her. But. 
Well, she's just taking things a bit fast for me, that's all. Slow them down. How? Oh. Talk to her. Tell her that you like her and you're not going to run away and she'll understand. Well, what's that supposed to mean, slow things down? Well, don't see so much of her, you know, for a time anyway. Mum, she said she loved me this morning. No chance of you feeling the same, I don't suppose. You like her? Hmm. Yeah, of course I like her. But? I don't know. Well, you, you want to go out with her? Well, yeah, I would if... If what? Well, if she wanted the same thing as me. Which is? Me up now and again, have a bit of a laugh. But she wants more than that. Tell me about it. So what you're saying is you don't want to go out with her, really? Well, Mum, I just can't give her what she wants. Well, you're going to have to talk to her. It'll do, Edin. <laughs> It'll do more than that if you don't. You know how worked up she gets? I mean, she's already head over heels. Yeah, I know. Well, if you don't let her down gently now, someone's going to pay for it later. Big time. Listen to Mum Jason, she knows best. If you want to catch up on your soaps and watch all the bits you've missed, then go to itv.com slash soaps. Threats to a Belgian film star, Poirot's on the case next on ITV3. And here, country music seems to be the cause of tensions between Max and Terry. But shouldn't they just get over it and get back to working nine to five? The Bill's next. <laughs> 